Hi guys, quick update. It's the 30th of August and uh, I've been busy as anything. I'll just show you what I've been doing with regards to the fruit. So it's been fruit picking pretty non-stop. Um, these are the Laxton Fortune. I weighed that one actually, it's about 300 grams. If you thin them down to one a spur you'll get something like that. Very nice eating apple that one. So that's pretty much all those in there. There is, I think, uh, one or two what they call Bardsey apple, which is that one. I think that's the island of Bardsey off the coast of North Wales. Um, this one is resistant to scab and canker. Quite a short season apple, but uh, it's a nice apple. Self fertile as well, I think. And then yesterday I picked the damsons. So I think there's around about 18 or 19 pound there. And these are the last of the Williams pears. Um, they've gone very well. I've, I think I've probably sold about oh, 70 pound of those. I pressed 50 pound for juice. Um, and there's still probably about 20 odd pound of the Concord which assumably will ripen in the next two or three weeks, uh, slightly later. We're back to the Atlantic uh, weather systems again. And we've had some uh, quite strong winds. I don't know if you can make that out. There's uh, quite a few fruits blown on the floor. But to be honest, um, it's coming to the end now. There are still a few plums uh, on the tree. but. What a haul we've had this year. I reckon um, we've sold about £200. I bought 200 punnets off the internet and they've pretty much all gone. So yeah, amazing. This little corner's still looking nice and bright, despite the weather. I don't know what happened to me personally, I think it must have got dried out or something, but it's, it's come back so I'd really like to make some more of that parsley butter because it was just, uh, it was excellent, really enjoyed that. We're still getting some nice bunches of sweet peas, really like those too. And these are the uh, pink spray chrysanth. They're really nice those, I like them. Wife's favourite actually. So the cucumbers are finished now. I uh, took plants out yesterday and that's the last of them. I think it's about £7 there. So I'll have to see if I can uh, maybe do some pickling, pickle them or um, uh, lacto-fermentation, something like that. Crimson Crush are still going strong and um, again I'm just making another pan of ratatouille and uh, I've skinned a few extra, just, we just like them fried with olive oil um, for lunch or something with some bacon and that, really nice. And here uh, we keep these in the hallway which is north facing so it's the sort of coolest part of the house but this is pretty much going to be the last basket of plums. Like I said it's uh, been an awesome uh, crop this year despite all the difficulties with the weather and uh, pests. Morning guys, 2nd of September, it's my brother's 60th birthday today, he's a professor of biochemistry in Manchester. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you the uh, plum tree, spin you around. So the plum harvest is pretty much finished now, there's an odd fruit or two still left on the tree but what I want to do is get in and start uh, pruning it. And that would apply to all stone fruits, so plum, cherry, damson, what have you. Uh, you want to be pruning it while it's still in leaf. So, like I said in an earlier video, all this sort of low canopy, I want to get rid of that really. Um, so, I'll bring you back in just a sec, I'll take a shot of the tree as it is, and then I don't, I don't know if I get done all today, but uh, I'll show you hopefully. Uh, once I've done the job. 
Okay, so that's the trees we're looking at it now. I don't want to remove any of those top. I've got this glove on by the way because I've got three stitches in me and uh, got to go and get those taken out this morning down the GP surgery. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't want to take any of that top stuff off because the idea would be that next year, hopefully, they'll be full of blossom and then when the fruit sets, the fruit will, um, the weight of the fruit will bring them down. So that's the idea, that's why I'm not going to remove them. So it's more the lower portions and try to open up the canopy a little bit. Anyway, as I say, that's, so that's as it looks now. Okay guys, there's the tree after the pruning. I've taken a lot of material off. I'm hoping uh, you can see the difference between the shot before the pruning and now. I'll just show you the pile of material that I've uh, removed. It's a huge pile. Unfortunately, my neighbour said he's going to burn it for me, so that saved me a massive job. So looking into the canopy of the tree now, you see I've opened it up a lot and as I said I've taken all these lower, the lower canopy out and a big branch such as this one, what I'm hoping is that it'll send out some new shoots and then I can always just prune it back in uh, spring when, the, when every, the tree's actively growing, back to uh, if I get a nice strong shoot. I'd probably prune it back there. The only other thing to mention is uh, the three D's, dead, disease, dying. Tried to remove all that kind of material. And of course any uh, mummified or diseased fruits, you don't want to leave them on the tree. Make sure you pull those off as well. So really, it's uh, yeah, we're shutting it down now for the winter. I've just got to uh, take that wasp trap and clean that up as well and put that back into storage. Managed to salvage a few more plums. That'll probably be it now. I keep saying that. <laughs> and the tree just keeps on giving. But yeah, probably that's probably gonna be more or less it now. But what a what a yield. It's been incredible. Hi guys, welcome back. We're on the 3rd of September and yet more rain. At least the winds died down, but we've got 45 mile an hour winds forecast for tomorrow. <laughs> Anyway, I'll show you what I'm on with today. So on, on these wet days, it's a uh, thing we can be doing is getting on with these uh, pickling onions. These are shallots, so I uh, peeled them last night and they've uh, salted them and they've just been sat overnight in a big tub here with this tea towel over them. So now I'm just rinsing them off and just take you around a minute. In here we've just got uh, distilled vinegar, so white vinegar. You could use malt vinegar, no problem. And uh, we've got whole black peppercorns, some cumin seeds, and some chilli flakes, and about a hundred gram of sugar. Um, so there's about a litre of vinegar in there. And then I'm just I brought that to the boil and. Uh, I'm just going to leave it now to infuse and then just kind of cool down. So what I'll do is, while that's cooling and infusing, we'll get these uh, rinsed off, drained and pat them dry. We'll get some jars sterilised, pack them into the jars and all we've got to do is uh, pour that vinegar solution on and put them into a dark cupboard for a few weeks. So I'll bring you back. That's it then guys. Job done. Five big jars of pickles, so I'm happy with that. It's been a good job this morning to get that done while it's been raining. In the in the interim, while the um, vinegar was cooling, I went and removed all the wasp traps from the fruit trees, cleaned them all out, ready to be stored away for use again next year. So even despite the weather, we've still managed to get on and do some good jobs. So they'll go. These will go under the, we've got a kind of under the stairs cupboard thing. It's cool and dark under there, so we'll, I'll put those under there now for a few weeks and maybe uh, 
I don't know, six to seven weeks, we'll try one, see how, see how they do. See you later.